Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 4. Alright, uh, the previous episode. Um, we got to see the like the happenings uh, before Luis uh, got uh, like recruited in the Shishigumi and what happened actually like after he killed the previous leader and how he was recruited and why he was recruited kind of and Mm, stuff like those we got to see it from his perspective and like we can kind of guess like what he is actually trying to do so that's one thing that kind of got cleared up and also uh there is like the whole thing about uh like legoshi investigating and uh, there's a new character who came in uh, and that was um what was his name uh, pina pina yeah his name was pina and uh, i think it was Pina, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, he is a sheep. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he is a sheep. And uh, like uh, there was this like whole uh, conversation between Legoshi and his friends about like Haru and how it's like to be with a herbivore. And later on, like uh, Legoshi got a little bit of like conversation with Haru as well, where he kind of like got, got the impression that Haru is still unable to forget Louis and but still like Ligoshi is like determined enough to like carry on to help the herbivores and to help haru as well uh, and like keep her safe so yeah all of those stuff so yeah guys uh without further ado let's get started with episode number four of these stars season two all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Oh boy, ha. Huh. Well, Beastars was one of the, like, at least for me, was one of the most anticipated anime after seeing season one. Like, I love season one so much that um season two was something that i was really looking forward to and uh, i am also hoping that we'll get a season three um i hope so so yeah let's just pray for it <laughs> because this is a really unique show i have to say like everything like the whole uh, uh like plot the storyline uh the whole setting itself like animals like car carnivores herbivores kind of living together and stuff if you stay near me our father will get tangled oh this is them yeah delicate <laughs> oh Oh, he, he was sitting, like, outside. Oh. What's that sound? Oh, what the? Who the? Who is this? It's so dark, I can't even see. Oh, that was just a silhouette, like they did not show us anything. What the, he is... Okay, is this the guy that like, got them? This is a guy, isn't it? It's quite huge. Okay. 
Oh, damn. What is this? Is this a bathroom or something? No, this is like. Is like he's blindfolded. Oh, but but he can like smell stuff. So that's why like this black and white kind of. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like like keeping the fear within himself, he still tries to like understand the carnivores. Yeah. Okay, he's coming. Oh, he got him. Oh, he. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. He's quite huge and powerful. So, like one thing we're still not sure, we're just guessing that this is a carnivore. This might not be a carnivore at all. Like this might be a like big herbivore. Like who knows? Like we're just sus suspicious of carnivores. But that might not be it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're playing games? <laughs> Who the? Oh, this is Lego. Oh, is this? How will he know that where he is? What? What is that sound? Oh, this is the sound of the swing. Yeah, like the sound of the... <coughs> yeah. Damn, he was beaten up badly. Yeah, obviously, like... And... <laughs> and also he has stuff to do now. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Is he going to... Uh, uh, what was his name? The panda... Uh... Gohin, Gohin was, his name was Gohin, wasn't it? Is it going to his place? That's the only place I can think about that he has left to go. 
Oh boy. And he'll be back, but it will take a bit of time. Yeah, he wants like others to be happy. Okay, so like the only place I can think him going is Gohin's place, uh, the panda. Yeah, I, I, is it? I think so. He's. <laughs> yeah, it's for Gohin. Like he's a panda, so <laughs> bamboos. Mm. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he also came to for like bamboos. <laughs> wow. Damn, he's gonna have a feast. <laughs> go him, not go him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh boy. Well, you should not give up so easily. Just go and ask him again. Oh boy, like you didn't. Like, okay. Well, like training. Give me some training. Yeah, emotionally and physically. Uh. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. But. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's the upstanding adult. He won't, yeah, he won't like tolerate that. <laughs> yeah.
yeah he was like previously he was a lot more like like they kept a restraint on himself what the what the what is this what um what what are you going to do that with that Ugh. Uh Wait, what's that sound? Wait, what is this? Um Whose voice is this? Oh, this girl. Oh, this is a kangaroo. Oh, my God. Move the cage. Oh, damn. Like, why? Like, they're like carnivores. Please hide your claws and fangs. Wow. Damn. I'm going to die being eaten. Damn. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, oh no. Wait, who did this? Oh no, oh my god. Who is, is that? That gir girl, the other girl? Did she? Oh, oh. Someone shooting? Who? <laughs> Lewis. Oh boy, and that's the end. Chishigumis are here. Ah, uh, hypocrisy. That's what she hates. <laughs> boss. <laughs> she's like, what the hell? Like, boss? Yeah, she, she's the one that did it.
Damn. <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the truth. Yeah, exactly. Like, you need to. And he liked, uh, like, the taste before. Or was that acting? Oh, he's not. Okay, now I'm not sure. Like, maybe he was acting before. Like, when he said that delicious or something. Yeah. He was acting. I thought like, did he really like, like the taste? Yeah, obviously he's a herbivore. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Ibuki. Oh, he notices that. What is that? Oh, visit. Oh, this guy is pretty good. Okay, okay, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> oh boy, Luis is still like, oh no, hide that. Um. Oh, wait, Ligoshi's here. Is that Ligoshi? Oh no, it's Juno. Wait, why is Juno here? Wow, that went fast. I didn't even notice that it ended. Wow. Okay. So, mm, like, like the funny thing here is like when that uh, there was a kangaroo, wasn't it? Uh, the girl who was like dancing. She, she like her like. The way she looks at the world is so freaking similar to Lewis's view of the world as well. Like it's ironic that he is standing like Lewis is standing at such a higher position compared to that lady who has like the same uh, view of the world. But like obviously Lewis is a lot more um, proactive and uh, like he like like he acts on like the belief. Whereas this lady is only um, like confined to the place that she thinks that she is the ruler of. Like as she was saying that I'm the ruler of this place. Like you guys are in the like cage whereas I'm the ruler of the place. But as soon as the cage went down, like she understood that no, like I'm like nothing. This cage was the only thing that was protecting me. The cage was the one thing that was not constricting the carnivores. It was like, uh, like saving me. It was like protecting me. Like it was the other way around. So like the way she looks at the world, like the like cynical way, the like, uh, what can I say? Prideful way of her like looking at the world is just so similar to like Lewis. Like he's also the same. Like he is 
he like he doesn't want the others to pity him same as sad kangaroo as well and um i'm not sure if she will play a bigger role in this anime or not or maybe this is like the one time that she's shown and she'll be forgotten or not but um like it was really um what can i say like weird to see like louis like uh like louis and uh, and her as well like being having the same kind of worldview but still like in such a different like position of the society like louis is like the uh leader of the shishigumi whereas she is like uh, constricted in her world in this place like she's the she's she was thinking that she was the ruler of this place but as soon as the like cage went down she understood that no i'm not the ruler like i'm just being protected by this place and the cage is also protecting me so i'm sure like she will learn a good lesson from it and like improve and the way like she sees the world and everything and uh like she'll also like i don't know like um maybe like like understand like uh how to be a better like like how to improve herself and how to i don't know like um like not be constricted in this world which unfortunately louis still does not understand like he is still under the whole impression of that the all the carnivores are looking at me uh, in a condescending way same as her and i don't know like uh, i thought louis maybe went over like like went past that but it turns out it's not the case like he is as like he's the same as before like the same amount of like inferiority complex he had uh regarding the carnivores that is still there and uh like i think like he needs to like um, what can i say like he needs to improve that inferiority complex he needs to like gain more confidence in himself and uh like improve himself if he wants to like keep the position of the shishigumi the leader of the shishigumi because like uh like as soon as like uh that guy <coughs> what was his name uh the glasses uh um uh lion the uh, lion who was wearing the glasses um he came and as soon as he said that um uh, like uh, boss like just have some like uh stuff that i brought like the like vegetables uh you were not eating so like i'm I was thinking like you're the leader now so you need to eat and like keep your strength up and he like took it in a completely different way because of his prejudice against uh carnivores he said that oh you're like uh looking down on me like i don't need your help i don't need your um like sympathy whereas like i doubt like he was saying stuff like that to um just mess with him like no that was not why he was saying that so i really think that he needs to get this like under check as soon as possible because he is the leader of the like shishigumi like, if he still like holds this kind of uh, like inferiority complex he will be in a tough like position later on and uh, like especially in the world of carnivores he uh, as a single herbivore took a step into the like carnivore like uh, into the world of the carnivores so like, he needs to um get the inferiority complex uh, like out of his system and he needs to like gain more confidence in himself and like like really like uh <clears throat> like improve himself uh, because for example um like you know what like i was saying before that the kangaroo who, there was a kangaroo wasn't it i'm sorry i'm really bad at like like uh, recognizing animals I'm sorry if that is not a kangaroo but the girl who was like dancing who like got under the like and the, when the carnivore was going to eat her that girl like I'm saying that she and Louise is a lot same I found another similarity you know what um like she was acting tough when she was protected by that um uh, cage she was like acting tough and like saying that yeah I'm the ruler of this place you know this is a similar thing that Louise used to do uh, when he uh, like used to study in the in the school in Cheriton school like he was protected by that school like similarly as like that uh, the lady was being protected by that cage he was protected by that school and all of the others like uh, uh and the uh, like uh, by the school and 
he acted as tough as he was acting in this place like he you know like when he used to like um act tough and like used to uh like uh not mock but used to like uh kind of uh talk sarcastic sarcastically and uh, a bit in a condescending tone with Luis and all, like all of, like all of the others and he was always under the impression that yeah i'm the best i'll have to do this i'll have to do this uh that's a similar thing like uh, that uh, this lady uh, was also doing so the, the, like these two are extremely similar like uh, whenever like i saw both both of them's like characters it kind of like struck me like they are like the characteristics are the similar like both of them don't want to be sympathized by the carnivores both of them are uh, have this kind of uh, deep rooted inferiority complex uh, so that's why they, they try to act tough against the others and um but like they are like like even though those are the like kind of the negative part, parts about them uh, the positive part about them is that they are strong like mentally because like being a singular herbivore in a pack full of inf like in the middle of a pack full of carnivores and still keeping your dignity and still keeping your head uh, like uh, held high is something that I'm sure most of the people like most of the herbivores won't be able to do so that's one thing that is a really like uh, re like uh, worthy of respect but like uh, uh, like even like at least they need to like um, what can I say <coughs> to like survive in this like carnivore infested uh, society uh, they need to um, really become strong really become confident really become determined and um like stand up for themselves in a like in the most truest way possible uh they are kind of faking it now they're kind of faking it and like acting strong but they really need to become strong which will really um change uh for the them for the better uh, as far as i can say and obviously uh like Luis needs this even more than the other lady because Luis is the leader of the Shishigumi and he needs to keep his uh, like confidence level at the top if he wants to like keep acting as a leader if like, if any of the subordinates like get a little bit of a hint that yeah this guy is a little bit of scared it's like uh, like scared and like terrified of us they will like like they won't let you live live properly like they will like take advantage of that uh, like fear within uh, Lewis and they will just like destroy you uh, like mentally and like that is one thing uh, like that's why like Lewis is like trying to like fake it like he was like eating the meat and was not trying to like, show his weakness to others so like he needs to keep that up and like in a truer sense become more stronger so that he can like become the like true leader of the Shishigumi and as far as I can say the other like the glasses wearing um lion uh he looks pretty um understandable he looks pretty um uh what can i say like uh he looks a good dude and i can say that he really wants like he does not excuse me is not judging louis and he like like he like he has like intelligence like so that um like he knows that uh, we need uh Luis now so he is like trying to like help him that way as well like not judging him like he is not judging him saying that ah like you are like the leader and you still can't like uh, handle some meat huh? you're like pathetic or something like that he's not like behaving like that he is in a truer sense he is really concerned about Luis and really thinking that yeah we need Luis uh, as much as he needs us so like he should like keep his strength up and like eat the food that he really can eat without like faking stuff which i doubt the other uh, shichigumi won't uh, will like won't understand like i doubt they'll understand uh, uh, like a few of them might like consider this but uh, most of them will judge him for this i'm sure about that because obviously like they're lions and like become like being strong is the uh, thing that is within them so yeah anyways uh
that was all about Luis and Legoshi. Um, like this was kind of like uh, like broken into two parts. The first part was about uh, Legoshi, and the second part was about Luis. And um, the first part, Legoshi, um, he uh, gets uh, kidnapped. No, not kidnapped. He was kind of um, apprehended by this. Uh, I don't know who, someone and he kind of beat him up and like one thing i'm always like thinking like we are uh, under the impression that the person who killed them uh, was a carnivore that might not be the case at all like just uh, like like just imagine uh, like uh, for example um like just imagine like uh, if a herbivore somehow killed him like maybe the herbivore is big maybe the herbivore is strong and uh, maybe he has a lot of strength like maybe he is just like Gohin like Gohin is pretty big and strong so I'm guessing there must be some other herbivores like him as well in this pool who is like big and strong like they can kill them like why are we always like pinning the blame on the carnivores uh, so like that's one thing I kind of thought about like who knows uh, like we still don't know like there's this whole mystery about the killer so like I'm like I'm I'm still kind of like fifty fifty about this. Like it might be a carnivore, it might be a herbivore. Who knows? And um like <clears throat> in this uh, uh like uh, in this episode uh, he was like trying to bring uh, Louis somewhere and like uh, beating him up. Now I don't know what the hell his plan was. Like was he trying to like apprehend him and like um go and like I don't know like what he was planning to do but it uh, kind of failed because obviously Lou is, is uh, not Louis <laughs> Legoshi is quite strong and he's like the strongest kind of the strongest in this place so he even though he was like uh, his like eyes were like blindfolded and all he fought back and kind of won and um, the other guy like ran away so that and and then Tem came, uh, uh, not Tem, uh, Jack. Jack came in and like, I get feel for him. Like he is seeing his friend and kind of changing in front of his eyes. And he's thinking that uh, like him becoming stronger is the reason for that. But uh, as like Legoshi said, like he, he kind of said that thing that uh, you're becoming stronger. So why are you not happier? And Legoshi said that I'm not becoming strong to be happy. Uh, uh, like this line like, like came in the trailer as well like he said something about like I'm becoming strong so that I can protect the others so he's using the strength not for himself but for the others and uh, like that's the basic thing about Ligoshi that that is something that all of us know like that's the main uh, thing about Ligoshi like that's his nature so yeah and what else and then he goes to Gohin as always like I expected this and because he's kind of like the only uh, adult that he knows who can help him so but uh, this but Gohin is like as you know, know the upstanding adult he wants the best for Ligoshi and so obviously like him not going to school and like saying that yeah I won't go to school for a few days and I'll be here and stuff like that kind of did not uh, sit well with him but he is i don't know what he's actually trying to do he like brought out like some weird like uh things from his like chair like god legoshi and he has a sickle now in his hand which i am not sure what he's going to do with that um uh who knows maybe he will use that to sharp like to like cut his nails like <laughs> that might be it like uh <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's it. Like he he like brought that sickle out just so that he could like mm, like cut off his nails. Like uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we'll see. Probably get to know what he's going to do with that in the next episode. And um, okay, what else? And yeah, that was it. That was this episode. And oh, also um. In the end, uh, it was a really surprise as to like when they said uh, a wolf has come come in. I thought Ligoshi came, and then I thought that like, no, why would Ligoshi come here? Because he is currently uh, like uh, in like uh, busy with Gohin. 
So, like the obviously the uh, other rule that comes uh, rules that comes to mind after Legoshi is Juno. So Juno came in here, and I'm not sure why. Like, why did she come here? Like, and how did she even know that L Luis is the leader of the Shishigumi? Like, uh, like this was not uh, was this uh, is this something that everyone knows that Luis became the leader of the Shishigumi? I don't think so. Or, or is it like becoming the leader of the Shishigumi is something a really big deal and especially if it's a herbivore so okay I think maybe it kind of got like everyone knows that obviously because uh, like the the word is spreading that a uh, herbivore became the leader of the Shishigumi so I think yeah maybe like uh, everyone knows that and uh, like uh, everyone from the like Chaitan school also knows that Louis became the leader of the Shishigumi so okay yeah and yeah and uh louis is kind of like working as like a bodyguard in a lot of like places for example in this like in this uh episode like when uh the uh lady was uh under like attack when the like the tiger or the carnivore kind of like went to like eat her um he came in and uh, i'm guessing like uh, they were kind of like uh um, hired by the manager of that place uh, as like a bodyguard kind of thing uh, for the safety obviously because you need some kind of uh, like security in this place especially where they're like this uh, like herbivores uh, like kind of like are in a, like most in the most vulnerable position so you need some kind of a bodyguard so yeah they were i think they were that's the reason why like they were uh like hired that and like uh, i have to say like uh they really did an amazing job of like especially when they um like the whole like strip club thing that they did uh like you know why i'm saying this because uh you know there's this whole thing about um the kind of doing the thing that you should not do like kind of a fetish like there's like this fetishizing uh, like uh, aspect of like doing a thing that you're not supposed to do so like they kind of like uh, brought that into play in this like uh, um, uh, like uh, as like in this like situation where like uh, for example um harvey force like like they are like a in a vulnerable position especially in front of carnivores so they kind of like brought the, the whole thing about like uh, like they brought that and like a uh, uh, and I'll, uh, I cannot like um, explain it properly enough but uh, I'm, as I'm trying to say like uh, you in, in like in this society of like carnivores and herbivores living, living together uh, there's this whole thing about like carnivores should like um, like uh, like uh, should always like uh, treat herbivores more respectfully more uh, properly because they are weaker in a sense so that's why there's like this whole thing about like they were kind of saying that in this uh like where was that portion uh yeah here's it like he she's saying that all they want is a convenient show that stimulates both their lust and appetites at the same time yeah that was what i was trying to say like this is like a like forbidden kind of thing like a kind of like a fetish they are like uh coming here these carnivores are coming here and as she said that they it stimulates both their lust and appetites at the same time and like it's a thing that uh like you should not like prey upon the herbivores this is like a rule in society but in this place uh that is there is no such rule and the carnivores come here to see these like herbivores in a more vulnerable position uh, they are like doing a thing that they are not supposed to do so obviously the, there was like another carnivore lady who like who was who came here like uh, that leopard i think uh, like who like went before her and she came back and it seemed as if she was not popular enough uh, she is not popular she was kind of jealous of that that's why like she uh, like did that whole tampering thing with the cage and tried to kill her but she's not popular enough but the hard before lady is a, a lot more popular the reason behind this is that like the whole like forbidden thing of like yeah we should not prey upon herbivores but in this place they are like there's no such rules 
Like they're coming here to, as she said, to simulate both their lust and appetites at the same time. So that's why like she is like even more popular here. So like they did a really good job at like doing that. Like they uh like mixed that like perfectly, and it kind of showed us like the um like the position Harvey Force are in. Like they are like uh in like in the outside world. They are like uh, like carnivores are kind of like under this rule of like protecting Harvey Force and not preying upon them. But in their heart, they're still a carnivore. They still like uh, try to keep their instincts like uh, like try to keep their instincts under control. But uh, like in the outside world, but in this place, their instincts are in full display. Like and at, at the same time, like she's also like kind of like a uh, like lady who is like dancing on in that on that place, and like she is like. Uh, it's like a strip club in here and so like both of them are like kind of mixing and it's like it's kind of like a forbidden thing and they are like uh, getting more stimulated because of that and like the whole instinct of like consuming a carnivore and also the lust that they have is kind of like mixing and they are like she is even more popular than the other carnivore lady that's the reason why so like I have to say like this is uh, like uh, as I said before like Visas is a really mature show and like uh, the thing that it really does well is um, the whole aspect of a herbivore and a carnivore. It's like uh, you know uh, like we already have a kind of like a societal rule of like uh, <sighs> like if you know like protecting people weaker than us and like this kind of a thing so like they're kind of like like i don't know like they're also like uh, bringing this hard before carnivore into this like whole situation and making the it as also kind of like a thing in this anime which is uh, like they're mixing both of it and i don't know if i'm able to explain it well like obviously uh I myself am still not properly able to um, like, like properly understand like what this actually is like you know like I'm trying to say like I kind of get what they're trying to do but I'm not properly able to express it in words so I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say like uh, they are like uh, trying to mix both of these things together and like the them bringing this hard before carnivore thing uh, into this show is something that uh, is really working well uh, with the this type of a setting of show like this type of a mature show like they can uh, they're making this a plot point they're making this uh, like integral part of the story of like uh, like carnivores should not prey on hard before this kind of stuff but at the same time the carnivores are like still unable to keep their instincts in check check and they're struggling with it so like they are like in this kind of uh, like place in this uh, like uh, i'm guessing this is a strip club uh, in the strip club so that like they can act on their like uh, lust and their like uh, <coughs> uh, their hunger and yeah and so that's why like when the cage went down uh, they were like unable to control themselves like one of the customers kind of like pounced on her so yeah it's really scary like uh, thinking about it like just imagine like uh, in like such a position like uh, she has to like as she said that uh, like we are like uh, playing with our lives here and yeah and she was like ready to go outside w without the cage and i am thinking like no that is extremely something that she should not have like, even thought about like just look at what what happened as soon as the cage went down so yeah and the manager knew about this he said that like i don't want to like uh like, lose another one of my like employees so he knew what was going to happen so yeah and obviously the other lady, uh, the carnivore uh, lady who uh, went before her, did the whole thing because of her like jealousy and everything. So yeah.
all right so yeah guys so that is it and that was this episode um uh, like I'm, I'm sorry if i'm unable to like express myself properly i'll like make you guys understand like i myself like struggle with english a little bit because obviously it's not my first language and i'm really not sure if i am able to like like especially in these kind of complicated situation i like sometimes i'm really not able to uh like express what i am trying to say like i really do not find the the words to express myself and i kind of like struggle with it a few uh times so like uh if i am like if like especially in the last part of the discussion if i really did not make sense to you guys i'm sorry because like i really was trying my best to uh like try to say what i was trying to say but i was unable to find the words to say it and i myself am unable to like uh like gauge the whole situation so it was a little bit difficult for me so like i'm sorry if you guys like really uh did not uh properly like understand what i was trying to like express so like i'm hoping that will like eventually and, and and gradually like i'll improve in that aspect as well because uh like uh obviously like um like i like i can like kind of like uh write and like uh like, like write english well but like talking and like reacting to something and like um like uh, like ad libbing stuff is really difficult like i don't have any script so like i like i'm saying like everything which is coming to my mind so it's really difficult uh, like uh, especially in these kind of like complicated uh, portions of the like anime and everything to properly express, uh, express myself so <laughs> yeah ah uh, oh boy so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, consider doing so comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back with another episode of beastars next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day